Now the Pope was up there. Now, now Jesus no, said, no. Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing. Right? So when Jesus said, when Jesus healed the blind man, or he changed, he gave food, the loaves of bread, that was not by Jesus' own will. Yeah, I understand. So, in the same hand, it. Jesus also exactly. said, you've seen the Father, you've seen me. Okay. In the same hand, he also said, if you've seen the Father, you've seen me. Okay, so if I said to you, whoever seen my Father, no, I've seen... No, 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 hold on, let's, let's understand what it means here, right? If I said to you, are you your Father? No, no, I understand. Why are you not your Father? My Father's son. Right, but you're not him, are you? I'm not him. So if I said whoever, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Whoever see Michael has seen his father. Are you your father? I'm not my father. Right. Could you represent your father? I represent my father. But you're not your father, right? Exactly. So if I said to you, right. I like right. what you're saying. What you're saying is logical. Right. But guess what? Right. Hold on one second. So if I said to my, if I, if I said, whoever, let's take this in. Let's take this literally. Let's take this literally. Let's take a bar and, and that's what I'm, and right. that's what I'm going. So if, 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 if I said, if yeah. Jesus said, whoever see me as in the father, is Jesus the father? That, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I rest my case. No, 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 hold on. I rest my case. Thank you. Hold on. Let me say something. I rest my case. Hold on. Hold on. Logical question. Logical question. Right? But guess what? When he said that, yeah. the people around him, what did they say? The people around him wasn't thinking the way you were thinking. That's one of the reasons why they killed him. No, hold on. They said he is claiming to be the father. That's why they killed him. Wait, hold they on a minute. him being a man. Let's analyze this. So, hold Let's, on. Let, hold on, I'm going to respond to you. Let's analyze this, right? <laughs> right. Because you're saying, because the Jews reacted to it, yes. it must be true. Yes. Right. And that's the way I understand it when I'm... Brother, no problem. Did, did the Jews also accuse Jesus of, of, of being a magician? Do you believe that accusation too? Um, yes, they accused him. Of... But is it a true accusation? Was it's, it not a, it's not a true accusation. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. They, they, hold on one second. Okay. They also said that Jesus had the devil inside him. Do you believe that accusation too? No, I don't believe that accusation. Wait, well, there no, you go. No, no, so, but hold on one second. No, hold that's, that's the difference. That's the no, 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 but you're going to see how I'm going to marry up okay, okay, what on. I'm saying, right? Okay. Right. Just because someone accuses you of something, it doesn't mean that the accusation is true, right? Just like when they said that Jesus had the devil inside him, we both know that's not a true accusation, right? Number one. Number two, they said that Jesus is a liar and a blasphemer. You know, we both know that Jesus is not a liar and a blasphemer. So when Jesus said, whoever has seen me has seen the Father, there's two ways you can understand that. You can understand it in this literal sense, which, by the way, will make you a heretic, right? If you believe that Jesus is actually the Father, you are, today on Sunday, a heretic, right? Uh, <laughs> the time is what? 5.30. 5.30, you're a heretic. If you believe that Jesus is the Father, you're a heretic. So, we must understand how is the correct understanding of this. So, so when I read it, I... When so I, how do you understand it when Jesus said, whoever seen me has seen the Father? Jesus was simply trying to say, because he asked them, he said, what's the Sabbath? He said, who do people say I am? Some people, and, uh, some of the disciples said, um, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah, some say you're one of the prophets. So when he says, who do you say I am? So what do you mean like? And, and Peter said, you are the son of the most high God. Right. Right? And Jesus said, Jesus didn't deny that. Jesus said, along the lines of well done man did not reveal this to you but my father who is in heaven or the holy spirit did that so hold on so let's go back to that verse hold on one so, second so hold on so when he said what he said right the people around him because the way you're saying it now it's not what you're saying it's logical to us but the people around him understood the claim jesus christ was making at the time so my, look, 100%. My, my, my answer to that were my, my, were vexed. okay my answer to that is very simple right they simply misunderstood. And, the re and let me give you my reasons for what the, their misunderstanding. Yes, right? reasons. Jesus will never make a claim without actually explaining what he meant. Have you actually consulted that verse? Whoever seen that through the problem? Have you read the rest of it? Take it out. Take it out. Let's read it together. Because Jesus is not saying what you are thinking in your mind. Okay. Um, in fact, let's, let's get it out. John 14, 19. I'm not sure what verse is it? John, I think it's uh, proper down, bro. Okay, no. Uh, no. 14, 19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. 
Sean. My boy Kevin ready, man. <laughs> John 14 now. 14 now. Oh, you can tap on John 14 7. Yeah, John 14, yeah. Alright, let's read it. So we can tap on 7. You ready? Right. Where shall we talk? Let's, let's read from. Let me go to Matthew. There's one in Matthew. I want to see which one you want to say. Let's start from John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. And continue onwards, yeah? And let me know when you're ready and I'll read it. Um, should we do Matthew 16 first? Right, why is that? Okay, okay let's go. Because right. I want to address this directly, okay. right? Right, John 14, verse 5 says, Tom, no, uh, yes, yeah. John 14, verse 6 says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should have known the Father, my Father, right? Also, and from henceforth, you know him and see him. Okay, let's stop on that. Right. So let's let's analyze this particular verse. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. If you had known me, what does that mean to you? If you had known me. If you had known me. You should have known my Father. What's your understanding of that? It's quite straightforward. Very straightforward. If you had, so, if, so in other words, if you follow the teaching of Jesus, if you follow in his footsteps, you would not, so whatever Jesus teaches, yeah, hold on one second, whatever Jesus teaches, right? If you've been following God's footsteps, you would have known. There you, there you go, there you go, right. But you've been following his ordinances, his commandments. Absolutely, absolutely, 100%, I agree with that, right? Philip said unto him, Lord, Seven. Oh, sorry. The sorry. B part says, and from now on you know him, and have seen him, and have seen him. One second. Seven, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The B part If you had known me, you should have known my father. Also. Also. And, it's and from henceforth you know him, yeah. and have seen him. And have seen him. Right. But no one can see the father, right? Well, that's what Jesus Christ Wait, hold on. Has anyone seen the father? In the Bible? Yes. Uh, well, I can, I can, what does I the Bible say? You. Whoever see me let, shall let, not live. Let's, let's, let's do this anyway. Okay. I can show you the verse. No, 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 no. Okay, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to respond to some of your stuff as well, right? Um, the Bible says that no one can see God and live. Yeah, but I can show you verses where God has been seen. So that means it's a contradiction. Then. There's no contradiction. There's no <laughs> There's contradiction. contradiction. So if you're, so if you're showing me... Means, but I can hold on, wait, wait, wait. If you're, showing, if you're telling me that there's one verse that says that God can be seen, and there's another verse that says that God cannot be seen, well, what may, is that? May, may, maybe he wasn't seen whole this is it. But the Bible says, so he wasn't seen holy. So, is, so what? Oh, so you saying that Jesus is unholy? Then? No, no, I, no. I never said that. I never said that. So what do you mean? So we, we can go. We can go into. We can. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. We can go into the Old Testament. I can. I can read it for you. So you right. can. Interpret. Hold on one second. Philip said unto him, Lord, show, show us, us the Father. Amen. Right. Okay. And it suffices us. And it's sufficient for us. Right. Yeah. yeah? Jesus said unto him, okay. Have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Have I been so long with you, mm -hmm. and yet has thou not known me, Philip? So why is he asked? Why is he saying, not, Philip? No I've been. I can this. Uh, what, what, one yeah, second. We need to really break this down, right? Why is Jesus asking Philip, Philip? You've been with me for this long. And yet you are asking this question. It's like it's like if, it's like I know this brother for so many years, and he's he sees me do certain things, and then I, he's asking me like, oh Hamza, like why are you doing such and such? And I will say to him, Isa, I've been with you and I've known you for this long. Why are you asking me this? Right? So let's analyze the verse. Right? Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it shall suffice us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Right? He hath seen me, hath seen the Father, and how saith thou, then show us the Father? Question mark. Most Christians stop at that point and then they go off in their own interpretation. But let's continue. Believe thou not that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Now this is where Jesus contextualizes what he meant. He says here, 
the words I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he does the works. So how do we understand this? When Jesus, when Philip was doubting, right? And I want you to think about this for a second. If Philip knew that Jesus was God, why would Philip doubt God? They doubted even until he... Why would you doubt Allah? Why would you doubt God if you believe that he is God? Do you know what? Throughout the so, Bible, so, 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 the Bible, are you saying that the in some the Gospels, Gospels, when Jesus Christ was there, he kept saying to them, do you not believe, do you not believe, even the day after he was crucified, when he arose, even on the last, even when he arose, and when they saw him, he was still saying, do you guys do not believe me? It was too much for them. They never fully believed. No, but think, even when he, even when he think about this for a second. Yeah. If, if you're telling me that these disciples were doubting Jesus, yeah. So we why have, we have one in the Bible called uh, doubting Thomas? Right. Okay. But why would they doubt God? This is my question. If they if they believed that Jesus was God, why would they doubt God? The understanding of God is too much for you and I to comprehend. No, 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 no. You're not. Okay. Bro. Okay. You, no, that's my opinion. No, 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 it's, it's a very honest question. It's a very, if, yeah. if, you're all, if Thomas is doubting... Let me ask you, Hamza. Do you think you fully understand God? As we stand no, here? No, 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 hold no, on one second. It's a valid question. Uh, it's a valid question. No, the answer is no. Okay. I don't understand God fully. So, however, so we do what however, we can. We do what we however, can. However, as, Christ, as Christians believe that yeah. Jesus was walking around in Jerusalem yeah. and, they, and the disciples knew he was God. So my question is, why were the disciples doubting God? If he was God in form, in human and I'm form. I'm saying they doubted, they doubted him up until, even after he arose from death. So they, they, they doubted. He was saying, do you still not believe? Whilst I was with you guys. Do you doubt God? You do you doubt God? I don't doubt God. Why, why do you not doubt God? We're reading it. We're in retrospect. You, guess what? As a Christian, when I read the Bible, I, um, obviously, I'm, not, I'm trying to uh, do you reference. See the problem? I'm, hold on, I'm trying to reference another story in the Bible. These guys were in the wilderness. They did everything they did, they did miracles done for them. I'm reading the Bible. As a Christian, I'm like, oh my goodness, if I was there. Why were these guys headstrong? Why were they stubborn? It's easy for me to now read these things and be like, oh, now whilst this thing was happening, this was beyond them. It was, it was almost impossible. It was beyond them. It was almost impossible. So I understand where they're coming from. Okay, well, we just have to agree to disagree on this point. But listen, I'm going to take a walk around. Yeah, me too, me too. Nice, nice speaking to you. Nice, nice speaking to you. Nice speaking to you, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Ah, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullah. Um, we had a conversation with two American, two American uh, Christians, right? And I feel that that conversation was good. Well, how would you feel? Yeah, alhamdulillah, but I think we got diverted. We, yeah, yeah got diverted. we definitely got diverted. We definitely, definitely got diverted. And it's, huh? Is that you, Cameron? No, 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 I'm not sure. No, that's, that's uh, SF Tower. Huh? SF Tower. So, yeah, we got diverted. Manala, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them. Um, and uh, I don't think I have nothing much to say. Apart from some brothers were asking what my TV channel was. Or is this Hamza's TV network? I am in brown trousers. Barakallah, Jazakallah, Kaid. Anything to say? I don't go. Oh, sorry.